point we want to install our um, I want to go over a few things some guys have said just for uh, highlighting uh, so it's in the video here is the fuel line the little thin fuel line that they actually provide is okay but if you take hard landings both of my aggressive landings have knocked the fuel line the um, in fuel tank line out some guys have said use regular fuel line uh, let me see if I can show you an example such as this little thicker stuff that can mount on there uh, I'd probably go with that route better that way um, the other thing is that we were contact we contacted um, John Beach and he was saying that this is an upgrade because I've got all the uh, add-on parts for uh, servo support arms and these bosses are really an add-on so guys have looked in their kits and they're not there he said you can either leave that empty or you could add a I guess since you have a M3 by 12 on the other side you could do the same thing where this boss servo support arm goes um, that's all I needed to cover with that um, so we've got that all on at this point we're going to go on to our um, getting our head all on for our head this has already been pre-assembled but you'll have the um, swash plate here with your washout and all I gotta add here you need to put this assembly like so with these arms attached if you can see that there but uh, that's what it's gonna look like for you so I'm gonna put a fly bar through here and start getting this assembled here and then we're gonna put in our um, muffler here so I'm gonna do that and come right back you'll need to assemble that according to the diagram your washout assembly your swash plate and your uh, fly bar that's actually the um, pillar level lever here so we'll go ahead and do that and we'll be right back okay I just want to let you know that I'm starting to put the head on and um, you put the fly bar on here. I don't know if you guys can quite see that a little low there. When you put this the uh, fly bar in here, you're gonna want to make sure that this side and that side are are even exactly. Um, I put it on a paper and marked till I had the right distances between it. And at this point, you want to get this. Looks like an M3 by 20. I could be wrong on the size. Look in the manual, but um, you're going to want to Loctite these, as it indicates in the diagram. Uh, your seesaw arms and uh, washouts. You're going to want to blue Loctite uh, most of the stuff in here where it's metal to metal. Um, and there's. Let's go ahead and stick this in here now you want to uh, get that worked in line it up with the shaft there's a hole in the shaft and you'll have to get a tool in there to make sure it's lined up straight get that in there sometimes it'll just pop right in sometimes you have to give it a good twist with the Allen tool to get that in place and you'll see one side will have the indention for the uh, lock nut which is quite handy so that'll pretty much work into place as the bolt comes through on the other side it'll pull in and Slide that into place, and you'll 
want to get your muffler in here next. And uh, we have a pro muffler here. And it's going to slide in just like that. You'll have to assemble this most likely with your exhaust tube and your nipple for the um, exhaust hose and you have to probably red Loctite that because these things get hot and you'll want to most likely use red Loctite. So we're pretty much all the way through step 11 right now so we'll start lining this all up even once we get our uh, helicopter together. So we'll put the muffler on and we'll go to the next steps.